What is going on guys? Welcome to your 23rd MySQL tutorial and in this lesson, well actually before we begin I want to mention this. I updated the MySQL file so if you guys want that new table go ahead download the file. You can get it now. There you go and if you don't know it's a uh, my website is tnbforum.com and just go in the uh, database section and it's right there for you guys. But anyways what I want to talk about in this tutorial is outer joins but before I begin that I want to mention something that I probably should have mentioned last time remember when we were talking about column names and how you can have a column and you can give it a nickname by writing like as C or something and then you can refer to that column as C well you can also give tables nicknames so I just want to show you guys a quick example because I'm probably going to be giving tables nicknames in the upcoming tutorials and I didn't want you to get didn't want you guys to get confused so let me go ahead and type the whole query because for these it's easier if I type the entire query and then explain it so I'm just gonna go ahead and select I dot seller ID and I'll give you guys a couple I dot name and C dot ID might as well type it on different lines from customers as C so you guys can probably see what's going on already items as I so basically what we did is let me just go ahead and finish this before I start blabbing on seller underscore ID equals and I'll just do C ID now let me run this and make sure this makes sense there we go no errors good so basically like I said not only can we use the as keyword to give a column a nickname but we can also give a table a nickname so whenever we do that just go ahead and write your table name as and then give it a nickname hopefully shorter because you know if it's longer it's not really a nickname and do that with any table you want and then on your entire query you, instead of referring to this as items seller ID items name customers ID you just go ahead and you use that nickname so not only whenever you're refer referring to the columns but also in your where clause as well so again like I said basically you can give tables nicknames as well as columns nicknames and it just makes your coding a little bit faster maybe a little bit easier to read but anyways I'm gonna be giving nicknames in the upcoming tutorials just didn't want you guys to get confused but now we can get to the good stuff the heart of this tutorial which is outer joins so what is an outer join well let's go ahead and remind ourselves what an inner join was an inner join was basically when we have two columns and we want to match them together okay that's nice but sometimes and you guys probably noticed this already you're gonna have these instances where your rows don't line up exactly maybe you have some items that don't have a seller ID or maybe you have some customers or users for your website who aren't listing items yet well that's nice but what if our boss comes in and he's like Bucky listen I'm gonna need a list of all the customers and the items that they're selling for example if Bucky's selling a tuna fish sandwich and a Corvette and a life vest I'm gonna need a list of those so again the name of the user and the items they're selling okay simple enough we'll just do a simple join should be on your way but then he's like oh by the way I also need to know I also need the name of the user even if they aren't selling any items and we're like okay that might get confusing so let's go ahead and try to tackle this problem so we go ahead and select customers dot name which is basically like the username and the items dot name so basically the username in the items that they're selling from customers and items where remember where is basically saying how are these tables related so customers customers dot ID should equal seller underscore ID so we go ahead and rerun this go check it out and we'll just go ahead and sort it make it look a little bit prettier we hand this to our boss and he's like wow this is looking pretty good wait a minute I could have sworn that there are some more users on our website what the heck happened to them some people's names are messing up well the reason that some people's names aren't showing up is because they don't have any items listed right now but what if we wanted to show them anyways okay that could get kinda of confusing so let's go ahead and rework this query a little bit so of course we want the customers in the items name and we also want that we also want to use the customers table but instead of just going 
customers and items where like we did before what we want to do is write list left outer join and I know the syntax looks weird so I'm just gonna go ahead and type this query and then tell you guys so left outer join items so take note that there's a table name here and then you write basically join with this table on and remember the on keyword is basically saying how are these tables related so customers dot ID and this is basically the same condition as last time equal seller underscore ID so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get well check it out not only did we get basically the same list as last time but as you can see it now lists the users that do not have any items listed as well so when they don't have anything to associate it with when your conditions aren't met and they don't have any related data it still shows the table on the left so basically this query is different from a simple join because whenever you hit left outer join it's basically saying that show all customers with items even if they aren't selling any items sounds weird in the keyword left what this means is you know how that look at this syntax right here you see that right there there's a table on the left in I know it's kind of like below it right now but if this was one long line then this would be on the right so customers is on the left and items is on the right of the syntax right here whenever you use the keyword left you're saying left means to include all the rows from the table on the left therefore the customers table no matter what so include all the customers no matter what no matter if they have items or not if we were to go ahead and hit right right here then what it would do is it would include all of the items no matter if they had a seller going with them or not so let's go ahead and take a look at that so as you can see now all of the items are listed but say this user went ahead and they deleted their username and they got banned or something but the item was still on the website well even though they wouldn't have a user associated with that item since we use that right outer join it takes all of the rows from the table on the right which is in this case all of the items and it forces those to be shown so even though it doesn't have a customer associated with it it forces those items to be shown so that is the difference between left outer joint and right outer joint basically do you want to force these rows to be shown or these rows to be shown so again that is what an outer join is basically forcing rows to be joined or oh, excuse me forcing rows to be shown different from a regular join where both of the basically they have to have related data so there you go I'm gonna be done talking hopefully you guys understand and don't forget to download the files go to my website tnbayforum.com and they're right there so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next lesson